to be political. Anybody that's heard me before knows that I believe it's one big uniparty, and no matter who you vote for, the military farm industrial complex is going to win, and they're going to take all of it from all of us. Next. But, as I'm thinking these last couple days, there's a way we can take back the internet. And this is important. Think about if you were trying to lose weight, and every time you went in the kitchen, there were sugar donuts, chocolate-covered almonds, and frosted cookies, and crap all over the place, and somebody named Mark Zuckerberg going, hey, try this cookie, try this cookie, try this piece of candy, it's great. And you have to either get rid of his app, shut it off, or keep it turned on. So now, if your mom makes a homemade cookie, she says, hey, you want to try this cookie? You gotta say, oh, I shut off Zuckerberg. It doesn't work. So imagine if you're trying to quit drinking, and every time you got up in the morning, you know, there's a little dinging on a shot glass next to your bed, and it's the guys from YouTube going, hey, a little bit of vodka, it'll get your day going. Or you're in your car waiting for traffic and stress levels. The guys from YouTube going, hey, we can relax here, take a look at this. But again, you say, I'm not doing that, shut it off. Well, now all of a sudden, if you want to have a little drink with your wife for dinner and wine or beer with friends after working hard on a Saturday, I shut it off. It's all or nothing. In my opinion, that's crap, and they know it, it doesn't have to be that way. So as much as I just picked on the Google YouTube guys, and the lizard guy over surfing at Facebook, the real evil one of the whole thing is Apple. And Tim Cook and his cohort over at Apple, they pretend like they're the good guys, but they're the ones tracking the ecosystem and making sure we're all on it all the time. So what I encourage you to do is, if you're near a desktop computer or a laptop or you get the one, install the app LeechBlock, L-E-E-C-H-B-L-O-C-K, LeechBlock. I don't get paid any endorsement, I don't know anybody at LeechBlock, nobody there is ever going to do anything for me, blah blah blah, and I'm sure there's others like it. But what you can do with LeechBlock on a desktop computer in Firefox is say, I want to see Facebook but block Facebook Reels. I want to see Facebook, but block Facebook videos. So now I can still go to Marketplace. I can still see local Facebook events, but I don't have to get sucked into, oh boy, if you want to get to Facebook, you got to go past all the cotton candy and all the chocolate covered donuts. No, I can throw those out. So, Here's a simple tool that you could use, and I put it on my desktop computer. You know how much time it has saved you, because I've got it in one side corner, and always on top, add-in on Firefox to keep one little YouTube thing up, and I put either Bloomberg or CNBC or one of the video news live channels up there. The problem is, YouTube now decides to dump YouTube shorts into that which is the same as TikTok. Instead of the Chinese government, though, it's the military farm industrial complex dumping all these little 15-second things in there. I don't want that. Apparently, I can either pick YouTube or not. Well, with each block, I can say, let me see YouTube, but block YouTube shorts. I can also block specific YouTube channels. As much as you try to block stuff on Facebook or YouTube, they know they keep putting it in front of you. Because, you know, humans are like, you know, driving past a car accident, they can't help but watch. So that's the answer. The problem I've got is Tim Cook and his minions have decided we're not going to let you put that on our device. Keep in mind, these are the same Apple iPhone devices that we've all seen the videos where somebody turns it off. They got an old meter and the thing is still drawing power. You don't get to shut off your iPhone and you don't get to shut off location sharing. You might think you do, but they know and they hear and they see. So, how do you fix this? Am I just complaining or is there a way to fix it? There is a way. 
Right now, in the administration, we know it's a bit of a free-for-all. Joe went to the beach. Tom was running against the big orange. But there's a lady, Lena Khan. She runs Consumer Protection. And Lena has actually tried to go after Google some and Microsoft. And the lawyers just keep coming back. But I would think if enough of us send letters to her and to our congressmen and our senators and say, make Apple let me put reach block on my iPhone, they're going to do it. And if they actually have to do that, you've now freed yourself. You're going to be able to use YouTube if you want, but not get sucked into YouTube shorts. You'll be able to use Facebook if you want, but not get sucked into Facebook reels. Because again, most of us don't mind having a little glass of wine with our spouse or beer with our buddies on the weekend. Oh, down the tree here. But we don't want some compensated bartender who gets paid when we sip to be with us 24-7 trying to get us to take a drink. It's just bad. So, I encourage you, share this video with anybody you know that would agree with it, and go ahead and just send an email to your U.S. Congressperson and your U.S. Senator, and to Lena Khan at, I should know this, actually Bureau of Consumer Protection or Federal Trade Commission or you know, all those organizations are all lumped on top of each other so they can put money. But I think if enough people tell her and she's got a couple months left, she might actually go after this. I think she will. And there's enough congressmen and senators on both sides looking for attention. You know, it's one thing to say I'm with red, I'm with blue, but who can be against getting rid of addicted shit that kids are forced to look at on their phones? Uh, thanks. Share this. I'll try to spread it. And I think if I was thinking about putting a standard Dear Lena Khan letter out there, but I think it actually is a lot better. I talked to somebody that used to work for a state senator and said, if we see form letters, they go in the drawer. If we see canned repetitive emails, they go in the drawer. But when an actual citizen writes something out themselves that we can see they wrote it out and they put in Here's my phone number, Senator so-and-so. Call me if you want to hear more about this. They know that they got your vote if they reply. You know what they pay for a Senate vote now? Some of these smaller states out west, like Utah, not Utah, Wyoming, Montana, they're saying that they're willing to pay upwards of $1,000 to lock in a vote, meaning they're paying Instagram influencers and YouTube influencers and TV ads and all that kind of stuff. Well, here's a voter coming right to him saying, hey, fix this and you got my vote. Don't make an effort and I'm going to vote the other way. I'll charge a thousand bucks to him. They'll respond as long as it's unique. Thanks a lot. Hope this helps. Don't know if it makes a difference. And uh, what's that? It is beautiful out here.